So today we're going to start with the low poly landscape series and to start I'm going to make a low poly tree. Now we'll begin by pressing shift A to add, choose cone in our little options, open it up, choose the vertices. I'm going to go with eight for this model and now I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to start by dragging this up with G and Z, hit three to go into face selection mode, select this face. Hit I to inset, E to extrude, and S to scale. And then I'm going to repeat that a few times. I to inset, E extrude, S scale. I, E, S. And maybe I'll bring that one down a little. And one more. I, E, S. Now I'm going to go select all and bring this up a little so I can have a little bit more room for the trunk. And I'm going to select the bottom again, hit I, and then E to extrude it down. Maybe I'll hit 2 to go into edge selection, hit Alt left click to select this edge loop, and hit S to scale it down. Next I might go and try to select some of these and improve the actual shape a little bit. Maybe make that a little smaller, it's a little smaller and that smaller. I think that looks a little bit better. Maybe hit one G Z, bring that down. That looks a little bit better, I think. Next, I'm gonna go to two for edge selection and select these edges down here, every other one. And now I'm just going to drag these down a little bit. For this one, I'm going to select it a different way. I'm going to go and hit Control Alt Left Click to select an edge ring. And then I'm going to go to Select, Check or Deselect. And that will deselect every other one. And I'll bring those down. I'm going to do the same on this one, except for instead of selecting here, which will make my active selected edge this one, I'm going to go and select the edge ring from over here with control alt left click and I'm going to then check or deselect and this time it selected the other edges because it selected every other one after the active which was a different active and then I'm going to go back to selecting this one and then this one Next, I'm going to go to the Material tab and simply hit New. I'm going to call this one maybe Leafs. I'm just going to make it green. And I'm going to hit Z, go down to Look Dev to see the color. Maybe make it a bit darker. And then I'll hit Plus to add another one and hit New. Call this one Bark. And we'll get brown by going into Orange and make it darker, maybe a little more desaturated. And then I will hit three to select, alt left click here to select this loop and select this face, hit bark, assign, deselect with alt A. And now we got a tree. Of course, you can go and do changes like maybe selecting here, maybe making it more wild like this, maybe grabbing this, bring it out a little more to that side, have it more interesting looking with a more interesting silhouette. Another thing we could do is we could duplicate this tree. It would be better to model another tree completely different, but I'll be quick here by just duplicating. I'll go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, simple deform, and I'm going to choose bend. And we can make a little bit of a bend. Make it more interesting. Maybe to get it to match up better, I'll choose Y. And we got a nice one like this. Maybe we'll even change the color of the leaves by hitting this two guy right here, which duplicates this material. And then I can change it to leaves light and go from this darkish green to a more lighter green. Now we got 
different trees. This was Mr. TriPi, and if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow. Thank you.